Hit it. Too? Yeah, but it's Blink 182. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> oh, yo, with the new hangers? What's that? What's that? Open that. We'll fuck all What's in that? It. What's in the box? Open the door. Open the door. <laughs> Open the door. What's going on here? Breakfast. 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 Ooh. Ooh, we got some tips. The carbon fibre tips. Those are so Ooh, who was me? Sure would be a shame if. Nyunk. <laughs> That's another carbon fibre dip. Another carbon fibre? Carbon, carbon fibre. Carbon fibre. Carbon fibre. Cava Fibre. Dude, those are such good T bolts. Fuck yeah. <laughs> and that hardware, we don't care about hardware. Fuck your hardware. No, but that's cool as shit that they include hangers and all kinds of crazy shit. Yeah. Or bushings. Bushings. Is this. Sick. Now back to the show. So we're going from this thick old boy with a resonator all the way up to the downpipe up there. So while Alex lays out the exhaust, I'm gonna go through and use WD-40 on the hangers. That way it has a moment to soak in and it makes it drastically easier to get the hangers off. And then you got these guys that are up here. have to get the valve flap taken off so we can transfer it over to the new exhaust and we will start from the back and go to the front and then doing the install go from the front to the back right now we got Alex breaking everything loose it's gonna be oh, that flange yeah. so we just did the downpipe that's a 19. Also 19 back here. Cut. Now before we pull it down, we're gonna go through and pull the valve to transfer it over. Unplug it. And then those look like they're eight. Oh. Ow, my toe. <laughs> Alright, now that we've just dropped a flashlight on my foot, grab a pry bar. Bam. 
kind of bump it out the way. And then you gotta get into these ones. throw that in the box. <laughs> All right. And then reuse the exhaust gaskets. It's still a little hot from the test drive. Which one looks better? All right, so you'll only have the one end that needs the exhaust gasket. Just grab whichever one is in better condition and then the rest are slip joints with clamps so now you pull the two rear hangers because it comes with the new hangers for the rear of the car to the passenger side. Really doesn't matter what order you do this in. Just as long as it gets done. So much easier. All right. So now we grab the new ones. And Papa John's in place. If they don't just pop right on, then lube them, but they seem to go on fairly easily. Okay, and now we're gonna start from the downpipe and come back. That way it hangs, and then get everything mocked up, and then tighten it down. Okay. So you just beat it over, line it up, getting the hanger on is kind of difficult. Okay. And then slap the nuts on and just make them snug. Make sure they're not on backwards, Alex. Those are backwards. <laughs> I'm here to assist. Okay, hold on. All right, now the hanger's on. You put the nuts on. Let's see if we can get you a better angle with this big old girthy GoPro. And then for these, you can tighten down all the way. So we'll grab the impact and impact them on. Just cause this is gonna flex mainly at the bushing. And it's reusing the factory hardware. Yeah. So now you slip 
the little clamp on, grab the piece of exhaust, and it will slip over. And then while that's getting held up, you'll come through and snug up this clamp, but you wanna make sure it's right on those slits because that will allow it to collapse and grab it and not let it move. So now grab the impact. All right, so we decided we're gonna slip this on. Oh, clamp. Put the clamp on. So, you want to? yeah. So we're, instead of tightening it down, we're gonna come slap this clamp on and then put that slip joint over and then put the hanger on. So that way it holds it in place and then we can still adjust it without having to constantly tighten and loosen the clamps. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, tighten down this clamp, get this one snug-ish, and while this is hanging here, we're gonna go turn, or take the valve from the stock side and swap it over to the new MBRP. All right, so grab your handy dandy eight millimeter and take these three nuts off. I thought you were getting a close up of my fucking face no. for a moment. <laughs> Trying to get it to where your hand's not in the way. I'm so sorry. And I'm so sorry. This is why nothing ever gets done. <laughs> I'm not working on it, Alex is. I'm just filming. I'm the film guy, remember? Cause I'm broke, dude. Ooh, look at that. It's feng shui. All right, all right. and that's all it is. Three nuts. Okay, so after you pull the valve off, you just keep the coil spring on it, grab the adapter piece, put it on in there, bring this bad boy over, and get it lined up. And then you put the three bolts through. Once they're through, you'll put a washer on, and then you'll use the factory nuts to lock it down. Hi, Poopy! Hi, Poopy! Hi, Poopy! Hi, Poopy! She's like, yeah. Hi, Poopy! Yeah, bite him. Hi, Poopy! Bite him. Oh! 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 I can't pet you, my hands are dirty. You're so cute! And back to the show. And back to the show. Ah! There's just nothing but a drama to space in one of these videos. Okay, man. Uh, we'll need an eight mil wrench for the other side. All right. All right, so once you have your eight mil wrench and eight mil wrench or ratchet, you just hold the bolt and tighten down the nut. But when he was going to looking at it, he said it did look soft. So he turned on. Oh, wait. <laughs> no. So, 
as always, clamp first, slip it on, put it in the hole, and then plug in the actuator so you don't forget. Kachuga Beluga Whale. All right, and now slip on the other side. And this is where having a second person will come in handy. So after Alex gets this slid on and hung, I will go behind it and just check to make sure that they are even. even we're gonna use the clamps to put a little bit of tension on these so we can still rotate it but it'll be able to stay in place so right now this one's pointed down a little bit more than the passenger side but we're gonna put the carbon fiber tips on just to make sure so we can have the best picture possible and make sure that it's even And then, just like the exhaust, it's a slip-on with the T-bolt clamp. And then they go on a little tight. So right now we just have them on kind of as a mock mount. We're gonna tighten the tips down after we make sure that they're level. We decided to pull it off the dyno to put the ends on. We got it all even and tightened down. We just didn't want to show you guys the boring, meticulous work. So now we're going to fire it up and go do a couple pulls like we did with the stock exhaust. close the valve and then we'll swap it back
for a block with the valve closed. And then reopen the valve. So how do you like your MBRP exhaust? Fuck yes. <laughs> Thank you. I love it. Now we just gotta get you a tune.